Hey guys, my name is Vincent, and I'm going to tell you about the adventures of Jason. These are for fourth, the fifth, and the sixth, as you can see. But, and, I'm going to tell you about these four, five, and six. They're very, very, very scary. And if you're like six or seven or something, you probably shouldn't be watching this. All right. Um, all right. Jason and his crew, the Argo, were going on, uh, were going on a very dangerous and long voyage to get the Golden Fleece. The f a fleece is something, a fleece is something you get when you skin a sheep. And they're going to get that because the Golden Fleece is the legendary Golden Fleece. Why is it legendary? The god Poseidon, the god of the sea, had um had married this princess, but because the princess was very beautiful, she had to turn Poseidon turned her into a sheep because she didn't want some random people proposing to her. So Poseidon and the sheep person married and had a child. This is a golden ram. But the golden and the golden ram saved some children. But one kid fell off. And because of that, that golden ram said to the other kid that survived, kill me. And the kid killed him and skinned him. And the kid died a happy death died a happy death unlike the sheep. And now, Jason and his gang are going to retrieve that golden fleece. They have met, they have met lots of things on their way, but these three are probably the strangest. Their fourth destination is Amicus, the boxing king. Why is he a boxing king? He just, I don't know, he, he just likes to kill travelers. Also, also, Jason had visited this um, immortal fisherman named Glacus. He had, he had eaten some immortal, he had eaten some herbs and had turned into, well, um, a merman thing. He's immortal and he is a seer. A seer is a person who tells the future. Now, Glacus told them to go to this island. So they went. This person, Amicus, decided to, uh, decided to uh, kill them for no apparent reason. Because he's a very, because he's a nice person like that. Now, and this son of Zeus, whose name isn't on the story, just uh, boxes with Amicus and kills him. Then the Argonauts kill like the locals and then take a bunch of food and supplies and stuff. They set off again. That was a little uh, cheesy. After that, they meet. After that, they have um. Yeah, oh no, that is. They have their uh, boat, the Argo. But it had, but its figurehead is a little different because its figurehead can talk. It's from the magical grove of Dodona, and the grove of Dodona has, is a prophecy place, the sacred grove for Apollo, and the the grove the the figurehead told them to go see this person, so they went on the island. The figure had also told them to take the boy, told Jason to take the boy rats. The boy rats are children of the North Wind. The North Wind's god, his name is Boreas. Boreas's two sons, Zetis and Calais, are the boy rats. And they set off to meet this strange man, Phineas. Phineas is a seer. Again, a seer. This famous person was cursed by Zeus because he was telling everyone their future. He was telling everyone their future, so Zeus got mad.
because temples and oracles won't be doing their jobs. Everyone will just keep going to see old man Phineas. But, but Zeus is a very impatient person because um, he could have just waited until this man died. He's, well, he was already very old, so he would have died very soon anyway. Oh, also, Zeus plagued him with harpies. What is a harpy? They're, wim they're chicken women hybrids. They fly around uh, bothering people. Phineas, when Phineas gets given, when Phineas is given some food, the harpies come. Then they take it, and whatever le and whatever is left turns rotten instantly. Fit, he's uh. Phineas is left with enough so that he won't starve, but he is always hungry. When Jason docked at that island, he saw Phineas. And, he, and Phineas was like, oh, hello, Jason. How may I help you? And, but strangely, Zeus did not take away Phineas's ability of uh, prophecy. Hello, how did, why are, I know why you're here. You're going to Colchis to get the Golden Fleece. And Jason was, yes, that's right. We will free you from your curse. And Phineas said, really? I have the two boy rats. They're going to help you. And Phineas says, all right. When Jason says, all right, now you have to help me. Now you have to help me with my destiny. It's my destination. All right. Then Phineas tells him to. Phineas tells him to go to the island to go to the sea of clashing rocks. What are the clashing rocks? There are two rocks that clash. One is not. They're not like clashing colors. They um literally crash together like this. You know why this is bad? Because ships could get crushed in the middle. Which means, which means that uh, the fin, which means that the Argo will be crushed as well if they do not follow Phineas's orders. Phineas told them to fuck to get some doves. If the dove passes through safely, they have to go very, very quickly. Phineas, well, however, Phineas wouldn't tell them anything more until they killed the harpies. And Zetas and Calais spread their wings, and as the harpies came, they killed them. Well, actually, they didn't kill them. They cornered them and almost killed them until Iris the Rainbow Goddess showed up. Iris said, you cannot, you cannot kill the harpies. It is Zeus's orders. So Zetus and Calais gave up. And Phineas died because he was too old. He, ate a night, he had a nice feast, then he had a nap, and then he, as soon as he woke up, he died. Well, that was good. Because actually, he wasn't such a good person. He made sometimes he made up fake prophecies to smite, to just to spite people. And then they you they caught lots of doves. They went to uh, go through the clashing rocks. The clashing rocks were um, very fast. They but as they rumbled. They could see that the Argonauts could see, Jason could see that as they clashed together, a tidal wave would just, the water would just uh, spread out. And he would, use, and he actually used that as an advantage. On the, on the first day, the dove was squashed. On the second day, the dove miraculously survived. They all went. They all started rowing very very hard and as this as the rocks clashed together 
the tidal wave carried the Argo all, uh, to safe land. However, it also broke all their oars. Which means they um, can't sail. They can sail with the wind, but wind may not go where you wish. So, so, they, but they finally landed at Colchis. Medea and the Golden Fleece. Now, who is Medea? Medea is a very strange person. Shuri, she didn't, she didn't really like Jason at the start, but Hera and Athena were both watching Jason and his progress. They were like, well, that's nice. But Medea was the problem. She was like the ultimate uh, obstacle they had to cross. They had to cross. King, the King ITs would have been such a big problem. They could have, Jason could have killed him and Hera and Athena would have stopped Ares from killing him because Ares had blessed King ITs. However, Medea wasn't so easy to kill. Medea was a sorceress. In the, she was a priest of Hecate. Hecate is the goddess of dark magic and Halloween and stuff. How, and since Medea knew all about Hecate and her magic, she had what she was ready to kill Jason. However, the two goddesses, Hera and Athena, went to Aphrodite and told her this, and asked her to make arrows shoot. Medea was a love arrow. And that's exactly what happened. Medea fell in love with Jason. Jason didn't. Jason was negotiating with King Aetes, and Aetes said, all right, well then, plant these Plant these with the fire-breathing bulls. Plant these dragon teeth with the fire-breathing bulls. It's a very strange thing, but these dragon teeth were not just ordinary dragon teeth. The dragons were the sons of were the sons of Ares. One was killed by a person called Canmon, and the other and the other was in Aetes's grove. And And when, and the oxen, yeah, I should remind you that the bulls, the oxen, shoot fire. No one can go close to them um, by, without melting or a burn, or getting burned to a crisp. Also, though, also, their dragon teeth, what, you have to water them with blood. And skeleton warriors sprout from the ground. The skeleton warriors only follow, um, the leader, the IT's command, which means that they would kill Jason. Jason is just having his own suicide mission. However, Medea went to negotiate with Jason the next, well, that afternoon. Medea said, I will help you with your quest, but you have to be my husband for the rest of my life. And Jason said, okay, let's do it. And and she said this, all right, I'll give you this repellent. When the oxen, when you have to do the bull challenge, spread it across your body. And after that, she gave him, uh, she gave him a what? She gave him a rock. And she said, and she said, you'll know why I gave it to you. Jason went to do the challenge. King Aetes was impressed that he wasn't burned to a crisp. He rolled the bulls successfully and planted their, and planted the dragon teeth. Then he watered them with the blood. Then the skeleton warriors popped out, ready to kill Jason. But Jason had his handy dandy rock in hand. He threw it at one of the skeleton warriors. It hit the skeleton in the head, 
and knocked over that and then knocked over and knocked it over. Soon the whole, that whole roll of skeletons soon knocked over. Arms and legs were uh, kicking each other and were kicking each other and stuff. As the whole skeleton place broke out into chaos, Jason sat on the dirt and watched the show. King IT's got mad. King IT's wasn't such a good um promise keeper because he did not give him the golden fleece. King IT's was just thinking of, of more horrible ways to kill him. However, Medea at night, Medea and Jason went to the grove and the dragon was there. It did not sleep, it never slept. But Medea sung this, sang, sang this song. It was like, it mentioned the hit, it mentioned Hypnos, the god of sleep. And Jason almost fell asleep. The dragon already had fallen asleep. And they took the golden fleece and ran for it. They got the crew and just, uh, then just sailed away. However, Aetis split his enormous fleet into two parts. One, his son would lead. The other, he would lead. His son found Medea and Jason first. And something very horrible happened. Medea killed her brother. When, when he had come on the ship, she threw a dagger and it sank into his heart. He died. Then she grabbed another dagger and cut him up. Then she threw him into the sea. IT's fleet was wa was just sailing by when IT's fished out his son's arm. However, there there are the Argonauts and Jason and the D and the Dio. We're already long gone. We're already long gone, so he could do nothing about it. However, Medea, doing that, Medea had brought down a curse to Jason, Medea, and all the Argonauts. Actually, I'm kind of glad that Hercules is out of the picture. Because Hercules had left on their um, one of their adventures. Now, and Jason went to this place. Jason went to this place where the king was a man named Creon. King Creon. Wait, wait, no. Right. And the way to Peleus's palace, the king of Thrace, where Jason had begun his quest. He they stopped at a place where a man named Creon was king. They, however, uh, J Medea, Jason had swore on the rivers, Jason had swore that he would be Medea's husband, but he kind of broke that vow, because Creon was like, hey Jason, you don't have to stay with Medea, just marry my daughter, she'll, she's a lot better than you, she's a lot better, will be, she'll be a lot better then Medea, trust me, she'll marry someone more compatible, like a murderer, a warlock, or, or an evil scientist or something. And Jason was like, okay. And Medea did something horrible. She uh, gave him, she gave the, the, the daughter of King Creon a wedding dress. And, but it was poisonous. She put it on, and she basically burned to death. King Creon tried to help her, but he got burned to death too. Basically, every basically uh, two people were burned to death. But I mean, in ancient Greece, people died all the time. So some people, so people were like, "Oh, hey, two people burned to death, boo hoo!" But. The, but the king, but the king and the princess, that's a different matter. That's a very different matter. So the people rampaged and um, 
they kicked Jason and Medea out. Peleus, when they got to Peleus' palace, they decided to uh, kill, Medea decided to kill Peleus. On the way, she had also killed her sons because Jason was a bad husband. They did not do anything to deserve this. The sons did not do anything to deserve it. And so, husband and wife take 50-50 for blame. And when they got to Peleus' palace, Peleus was like, Oh no, uh oh, he got back, no. And Medea decided to kill Peleus with a very strange plot. She gathered the daughters of King Peleus. Then she got an old goat. Then she killed the old goat. She chopped him up. Then she threw the goat into a pot. Then she threw some magical herbs into it. And a younger and a very young goat just came out. It was very strange for the princesses. So, so Medea gave them some uh, harmless herbs. Some just uh, some spice herbs, you know, to spray on your, you know, to spray on your uh, food to make it look good. She gave her those things like more rosemary and stuff, and they gra and the princesses basically grabbed knives and sliced up their dad. They threw him in the pot. They made Peleus stew. The end. Since Peleus and Peleus had died, and the people basically uh, kicked Jason out, he went back to Creon's palace to Creon's um, place where he went to the Argo, he, he went to the Argo, but the Argo had stopped talking a long time ago. He said, you are my only friend now. When he was sleeping, when he was sleeping, the Argo's figurehead rotted away and slammed on Jason's head and killed him. That's the end of, that's the end of Jason. It's kind of sad. I mean, and the Golden Fleece had an evil reputation. It killed good people. And if that, I told, I warned you it would be scary. But, um, explaining this, it was a little too scary, too. So, um, I hope you enjoyed my video today, and I'll see you next time. I'll talk. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you.